Welcome to another Tempest Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. The newest expansion, Fractured in Alteric Valley, is on the horizon, and we here at Tempo could not be more excited. All of the upcoming cards look awesome, and we're excited to dive in headfirst in the coming weeks. But first, we still have a few days left with this meta, and you probably want to get ahead while you can. When the new set drops, everything will be up in the air, so join us as we help you gain an edge on the ladder before the new cards drop. The standard meta has changed slightly following the last balance patch, but we're here to give you the scoop on the best decks for ladder. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. And if you want to view the entire report, we suggest heading over to TempoStorm.com for a more in-depth analysis. Now let's jump right in. Leading off tier 1 this time is Face Hunter. Honestly, it's been a long time coming, and we're happy that this archetype is finally sitting at the top. It seriously feels like Face Hunter has been in tier 1 for over a year at this point, and when it's not, it still finds itself hovering close to it. Face Hunter benefited from the nerfs that have slowed down other decks as it remained at the same power level, making it an even better deck for the meta. Following the mini set, Face Hunter now runs cards such as Arcane Anomaly, Doggy Biscuit, and Ramming Mount. Crazy, right? The deck still plays out as normal and aims to smork its opponent down and close out the game with Burn from Hand, making it a familiar face to many. Face Hunter's best matchup comes from Weapon Rogue, where you're looking at an insane 75% win rate. The Rogue honestly can't deal with your threats, and Arcane Anomaly will almost always go on checked. As for bad matchups, Face Hunter struggles with decks that have access to a lot of healing, such as Fell Demon Hunter. They'll continuously clear your threats while healing to full, until they can pressure you out with their own threats, making it hard for you to find a win condition. The second deck in tier 1 this time is Hand Warlock. Despite what feels like 20 nerfs to the Warlock quest, it's still seeing play and impacting the meta massively. This is partly due to how synergistic the deck is, but also thanks to the newest Warlock card, Shadowblade Slinger. Giving the Warlock deck access to cheap removal has made the deck far better against board-based decks. Hand Warlock continues to cycle aggressively while completing its quest, developing large threats along the way. This archetype has a great matchup against some of the slower decks on ladder, such as Quest Warrior, or decks that struggle to regain board once they lose it, such as Taunt Druid. As for bad matchups, Hand Warlock has historically found itself having a rough time against hyper-aggressive decks, making Poison Rogue feel nearly unwinnable for them at times. The last deck that's found itself in Tier 1 is Miracle Garote Rogue. Despite the needed nerf to Garote, this archetype is still seeing a lot of success, especially at High Legend. While difficult to pilot, Garote Rogue continues to bless those who master it with large amounts of success, leaving it to be one of the most rewarding archetypes to master. If left untouched, many players are worried that Garote Rogue's dominance will negatively impact the meta once the new expansion releases, but only time will tell. Garote Rogue has a great matchup against slower decks that lack access to armor. If they aren't applying pressure to you, they'll have ample time to cycle towards your combo, leaving you to play solitaire. As for bad matchups, Garote Rogue continues to have difficulty against both aggressive decks and quest OTK Demon Hunter. The face decks simply race you, and OTK Demon Hunter plays Glide, which really ruins any fun you may have been having. As with every meta snapshot, we'll take a look at Tier 2. These decks are powerful and consistent archetypes that are great for ladder, but narrowly missed the Tier 1 cutoff. We're only going to be looking at the top two decks in this tier, so if you want a more in-depth look at the rest, be sure to head on over to TempoStorm.com to view the rest of our report. Sitting comfortably at the top of Tier 2 is Taunt Druid. Despite the nerfs to Razor Main Battleguard, this archetype is still a powerful threat that has been making a name for itself on ladder. Honestly, if it weren't for both Warlock and Rogue, Druid would probably have found itself in Tier 1, but with both of these decks holding it down, we felt that Tier 2 was more fitting. Taunt Druid remains the board-centric deck that aims to swarm you in the early turns, and then close out the game with cards such as Arbor Up. Taunt Druid has a phenomenal matchup against Poison Rogue, being one of the most volatile matchups on the tier list. Weapon Rogue historically struggles against Taunt Minions, after all, Taunt is literally in this deck's name. As for bad matchups, the two decks we mentioned previously are both super rough for this deck. Do your best to avoid them at all costs. The last deck that we're taking a look at is Quest OTK Demon Hunter. This archetype is another one that will reward a well-versed pilot, and time and time again, we see the ones who have mastered it rewarded for their decision-making and quick thinking. The archetype continues to play the same, stalling the game out with removal and healing while cycling towards its quest completion. Once done, they'll begin to look to close out the game with their combo. This game plan makes OTK Demon Hunter a great deck choice for those who want to be flexible in their game plan, all the while denying their opponents of any fun. OTK Demon Hunter performs best against both Garote Rogue and Fatigue Warlock, as you can deny their game plan with Glide while easily working towards your own. On the other hand, you'll find 
find yourself struggling with both Weapon Rogue and Quest Warrior. Rogue has access to enough weapon buffs to continually pressure you, and Valera can use Garrote to burst you down from full if needed, and Quest Warrior has a constant amount of threats, with their quest giving them nearly endless pressure. The Hearthstone meta has evolved a lot over the last expansion, United in Stormwind. While some players may have not liked the card set too much, it's important to remember that many have loved it and will miss this meta when it's gone. We're excited to see how Fractured in Alteric Valley changes the game, and we'll be here to report on it when it's ready. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. We'll see you next time!